Nadia from the Diploma in Communications and Media Management at Temasek Polytechnic. Welcome to Pages by Read Singapore. So today we have a particular story that is taken from a book under one sky. And this story is about a man named Ayanar who is torn between his wife and his mother who cannot seem to get along. <coughs> now, to discuss this story further, I have two guests who are here with me to discuss the story. So please welcome Paul Lim and Azida Muhammad. Hi. So first of all, I just have to know, what did you guys enjoy from the story, Paul? I really enjoyed how the story was written from beginning to end. Um, there was a lot of conflict and tension and I was on the edge of my seat. I was wondering, who should I support? Um, the daughter or the mother? Oh, okay, okay. I mean the wife and the mother. <laughs> the wife and the mother, yes, <laughs> correct. Well, how about you, Azida? Um, what did you think stand out from the story? Um, I think what stand out was the conflicts because it was the main part of the story and um, it depicted reality and it was it was also tense for me mm -hmm. yeah oh, well speaking about conflicts since you guys both mentioned that why do you think the conflict exists what caused such bitter rival bitter rivalries among them um azida i don't want to put the blame on pavati but mm -hmm. when she joined the family um that was when the conflicts arise and mm -hmm. when it was introduced so I think it was due to jealousy. It was Pavati's jealousy towards um, his mother and because their relationship was quite close before. Oh, how about you, Paul? Do you agree with Azida? I do agree with Azida. Ever since Pavati came into the picture, um, there, was a there was a form of tension. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the mother, um, because she took care of Ayana ever since he was young, and it's only natural for him to, uh, her, for her to feel like, why, why, do, why am I so neglected? And she, um, she would perhaps want more attention and that's why she treats Pavati with hostility. Okay, since we are at the topic of Ayana's relationship with his mother, well, the story depicted Ayana's relationship with his mother to be quite strained, you know, as he grew up and he married Pavati. So, um, why, uh, what do you guys think? I mean, if you were in his shoes, and I'm directing this question to Azida. If you're in his shoes, what would you have done to prevent their relationship to falter? Um, if I was Ayana, I would act as a mediator. I would get the both of them to talk. And because both parties in the story, they didn't want to give in. But I feel that Ayana had control in the situation. He could get them to sit and talk about it. Mm -hmm. OK, that's a really great response. Well, as to every story, there's always an ending to it. Now, in this case, the ending was never revealed, although the story did mention Parvati's attempt for a reconciliation through her gentle and tender voice towards her mother-in-law. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it was enough of a push for reconciliation, Paul? Personally, for me, I mm -hmm. don't feel that it's a strong enough hint. Mm -hmm. uh, conflicts will happen again, and yes. um, it's only temporary. Their, their loving state is only temporary because of the child um, newly born. And I feel that um, conflicts will arise, and it's just, it's just a facade. Yes. Oh, um, how about you, Azida? Do you agree with Paul? No, I think I disagree because I think it was, it was a hint to show that they will, they will reconcile, but it just takes over time, over time, and it's not. Um, you, of course, it's not immediately because his mother has to soften her heart and wait for, wait till how it goes. Yeah. Okay, that's a really great response. Response from me too. Thank you very much. So, thank you for watching us, and thank you for our guests. Well, I guess that wraps it all up. So, I'm Nadia, and you've been watching Pages by Read Singapore. <laughs>